Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I got something else for you guys for free this week. I created this on Affinity Designer and you can edit these to be whatever name your channel is for all of these with a free program. You don't have to use Affinity Designer to put a name in here. I'll show you that free program. I'll show you how to upload these to your Streamlabs OBS. I want to create a call to action with these and I'll show you guys how to set up a call to action with Streamlabs OBS and a browser source. So no matter which software you use, as long as you got a Streamlabs OBS account, you can use it with that one. I'd also like to let everybody know that these are free. You can download them from my Discord. That link will be in the description below. I also like to tell everybody I stream every Sunday and Monday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on Twitch. Link will be down in the description below for that. Now the free, now the free software we're using is called uh, GIMP. G-I-M-P. I have a link down in the description to blow, below for that. But as you can see here, I have all the blank ones saved here. If you just grab this and drag it in here, convert it to the file, you have the blank file here. Now with GIMP, you come over here and you, you'll uh, touch the text tool. Now fonts, you can go through all these fonts. I don't usually use GIMP much anymore since I got Affinity Designer. The font I use, they don't have the font I use. So let's go with just Arial Heavy. Create the outline of the text and for just whatever sake, Mix Drive, the text size here. So highlight the text and bump up, bump up the text size until it fits. Now to export this file, we'll go up here to file, export as, and I'm gonna do Twitch, Twitch test PNG so it doesn't overwrite my other Twitch. Export, export file. If I pull this up, you have the PNG file for your Twitch name. Do this for all of your, all of your socials and you can upload it here like I'm about to show you on Streamlabs OBS. All right, so once you're on your Streamlabs uh, dashboard here, I'm gonna come up here to the search one and we're gonna do sponsored banner settings. This will give you a little tutorial, but this is the tutorial. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna leave a transparent background, placement in single, and we're gonna change media. You're gonna click this to upload your files. Once you found all your files that you have created with your name on them, highlight them all and open. Now this didn't wanna take all of them at the same time, so you gotta upload them separately. Once you have them all uploaded, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Twitter or the, my Twitter, sorry, I'll put my Twitter up there first and select. And we'll come down here and we're going to add image, exit out, change media. And now it's out of order. So I'm going to come down here and we're going to go with YouTube, add image, exit it out, change media, Facebook. Because we're on Twitch, this is for your Twitch stream. I'm doing Twitch last. Select. Now image duration, I'm gonna put this um, for two seconds just for the sake of the video. Save settings, don't forget to save settings. Right here, shows you the little bounce in that it's doing. And that's your anim your bounce in animation is this right here. You can go bounce in down. Might have to save it. I don't know if there's much difference. There it is. Yep. So you go down there and save it and there it is. Now to get this to pop up on your stream, I'm going to show you on my OBS here. You're going to copy this URL widget URL. Now we're in the uh, in 
infinite window. Come down here, add browser source. You see the browser, let's go ahead and cover them all up. The browser source here. Browser, we're gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna test for YouTube. Cause I'm not gonna leave this one on this. This is gonna be a different one for me. Control V and the URL. Uh, width, 1200, height, 400. Because that's the original pictures, width and height. Press OK. And there it is. You can resize it. Now what I'm going to do is, since it didn't convert exactly to what this is, come down here to test for YouTube. Properties. This actually looks like it's probably a 400. We'll make it a 400 by 200 square. Yeah, that's a little more manageable. Now here's the thing though, is like, is when you have it set up like this already, you don't have to change that browser source URL. All you gotta do is go into here. All right, well, I gotta re-record this, uh, this part because obviously you can see it, it, it's blank and I wasn't recording my screen because I pulled it away. So, so as I was saying in this part of the section, uh, to change the duration or the fade in, fade out the animations, you don't have to recopy the URL every time you want to change something. As you can see, these all say five seconds now. They were two seconds. We're gonna go for 10. Go for 10 seconds for them all. Press save settings. And as you can see, it is going for 10 seconds now. Every time it switches. And if you want to change the different uh, animations, like ta-da, I don't even know what that would be. Come down here and save it. All you have to do is go in here and change the settings and save it and they will change with the browser source. This has to do with any browser source that you have for your overlays, notifications like this, alerts. All you gotta do is come in here, change them, save it, and it'll change. You don't have to change your browser source. source. Your browser, uh, browser source does not change. I hope that makes sense. So let's, uh, let's get back to the other the video again. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. So hit the subscribe button and I'll have more content like this for everybody. I like to say I stream live on Twitch every Sunday and Monday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to talk about this or streaming or anything like that, hop in the chat. I'd be happy to talk with everybody.